Hi guys, this is my very first BoxyCharm unboxing. Um, I hope you like it. I used it to get this look. Well, I used the products to get this look. I had to use a lot of other things because I didn't have a whole face, which you never get a whole face. But um, yeah, so if you want to see how I did this, stay tuned. We fixed it. We'll know in a minute. <clears throat> okay. So I'm just gonna get this nice and blend it in between my brow bone and my actual crease. Then I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna go in the shade <coughs> Cabo's Kisses. Because like, it's the shade I think is the best. going right above the crease right right above because I have kind of like a hooded lid where some of the skin creases when my eye opens I'm going right above that because I have plans I'm gonna kind of bring this out also. You know? I'm just going to take a clean brush that doesn't have anything on it, a fluffy one. I'm just going to go, eh, I need some other one. Okay, maybe this smaller one. I'm going to hold it. This color requires a lot of patience and placement. did my foundation or well my it is foundation I use the apple bomb from KVD but I just put it under my eyes and around my nose and like around my lips I didn't touch anything else and then I put this on top of it because I love this powder this is a powder I've been using for years and it's still my favorite I still have not found a powder that I like better. 
so there's that. But anyway, I'm gonna go into this really quick. Uh, I already put like a layer on, but I messed up the recording because I had my headphones in and there was a static. So we're gonna redo just this part because I mean, I'm all about chiseled cheekbones. Maybe a little more on my forehead, honestly, because my forehead is huge. And even though I have a ton of freckles, like they don't, they don't help with the appearance of my forehead. This is not the right brush. Okay, that was the wrong brush. This is the right brush that I'm supposed to be using. That had makeup on it, so yeah. there's that. This is my Opulent Beauty Powder Brush. I love it, I just use it to blend things out. I'm gonna use this now. This is the Jekka, Jessa, Black, Excuse me. Uh, shimmer finish in the shade Cold Touch. And I'm gonna put this on. And we're gonna see if this is, this wows us here. I already had some on because again I recorded myself doing it I didn't give it good enough so I have to add more but that's okay because more is more I don't mind having more makeup on my face never a problem okay so um, I'm gonna do my lashes my eyebrows my lips and then I'm gonna come back with like my final thoughts on everything. Hi guys, um, this is going to be my first BoxyCharm unboxing. I've already like cut it open with a knife, but I've been getting this for like three years. I used to get all of the subscriptions and then I canceled one of them because I was like, I want to save money, but I still get this and the Lux because I can't help myself. But anyway, we're going to open this up and see what's in it. All right. Here is the card, and the first thing that I'm going to pull out is the Clear Skin Club Clean Slate Clearing Mist that is $38, and you use it after cleansing your skin and before serum. I'm not going to use this right now because I've got all my skin stuff on, but I will use it, and I will let someone know how I feel about it. And... It might be the best thing ever. All right, so I see another skincare thing in the box. So we're just gonna go with this, which is the Kate Somerville Exfolicate Glow Moisturizer, which is $70. Okay, it says Revive Doll a lot. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Revive dull dry lackluster looking skin with kate's exfoliate glow moisturizer powerhouse ingredients remove dead skin cells while refining smooth while smoothing fine lines refinings not even in there and wrinkles to reveal younger looking skin this shit better make me look 15. i'm 26 this better make me look young i want to look like jail bait for 70 dollars. i mean that's crazy I mean, if it's good though, if it works, if it makes you look, I mean, I, I, I don't look old. So that's why I'm saying I better look 15. If I was older, I'd want to look 26, I'm sure. But um, yeah, $70. <sighs> Jesus. Okay. The next thing we're going to grab out of this box is the give, hashtag give them Wawa beauty, the Crone woman palette which is $42. Say hello to a gorgeous eye palette full of earthy sun set colored mattes and foiled shadows. Okay, you know, you know the, the spiel. 
on the eyeshadows. Intensely pigmented. Nah, 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 nah. All right, so this is what it looks like. I'm going to open this and hopefully use it because I saw Glam with Suzanne get a palette and I was like, oh, that's so beautiful. I hope I get that. Oh, no, but I like it. Okay. Look at that. We've got like super basic everywhere, but it does have this really fun red, which is called Kapu's Kisses. And now that I put my finger in it, I won't be able to give it away to anyone, but that's okay. Okay. Say yes. That's the, the color. Okay. That is beautiful. That one is say yes. The super bright one. The one that's not very pigmented is called Cabo Kisses. I only put like one layer. There you go. Two layers built up. Not bad. Pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Definitely going to use this today. And then what else do we got? We've got the do, 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 Jessica Black Play Pot 2150. Play Pots are cream pigments that can be used on the eye, lips, face, cheek, everywhere. Okay, they're effortless to blend out. So this is the shade Gold Touch, I assume. That's what it says on the packaging. Really nice and big. I don't normally use golds or warms, so, you know. Oh, they said if you open this, you're not going to be able to give it away. Good lord. We got this. Um, yeah, okay. It's pretty, kind of feels like a little Vaseline in there, which I'm not saying is necessarily a bad thing, but I'm, I don't know, it's glittery. Kind of looks like a cream, less intense version of the Fenty Trophy Wife, I believe it's called. I have it. Uh, the Kilowatt highlighter that's really gold, it looks like that, but like not as good. So, but that's okay, because things, that doesn't mean you won't, you won't love it, just because it's not the exact same. Might love it more because it's not the exact same, because I don't use that a lot. Because one, it's too dark for my skin. But two, again, I just don't use gold a lot. Gold's not really like my color. And then I got this guy, which is what I picked in choice, and it's flipping huge. $35 and six shades. And I got the shade Medium Bronze because, you know, it's what I wanted. Oh, wait. I want to smell my finger because, nope, no smell. Okay, sometimes there's a smell, but there wasn't. Okay, so I am going to really quickly get, because all I got in this box in the way of makeup was two eye products and a bronzer, which I'm not bitching about because this is $70 and I would never buy a $70 moisturizer. So pretty excited about that. And this is for acne. I don't have a ton of acne, but it can't hurt to have. So I'll be right back when I got the rest of my face on. So I'm back. I've got all my creams on except for my Apple Bomb foundation, but I only use it in the places where I need concealer. So because I don't like having foundation all over my face because I have a lot of freckles and it can look funky sometimes. So, anyway, um, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take kind of a fluffy brush. It's got this little nice angle on it. And I'm going to take the shade The Wife. It's kind of the mid-brownish tone in here. And this is going to be what I'm going to use to kind of 
blend it's like right above my crease it's not in my crease i'm not going in my crease i'm going right above my crease because i want to use <clears throat> the two brightest colors because like it would be silly not to they're the ones i like the best um i'm not like the biggest fan of every color in this palette um but someone else is gonna love this this is gonna be someone else's like perfect eyeshadow palette but for me it's just very warm but I mean it's not that I don't wear warm tones I just like when I do warm things, it's like usually super bright and out there. My camera's falling and we're back. Um, I went a little farther than I thought I was gonna go, but you know, it's raining outside. I love the rain. I just thought, you know, why not really just play and have a grand old time? You know, just have fun with my makeup, my boxy charm. I always like to have fun with my boxy charm. Hold on, let me make sure that's not wet. At all. Okay. I always like to have fun with my boxy charms. I like to have fun in general with my makeup, if I'm being honest. Um, so I thought, why not? Why not just have fun? So I'm going to like, I'm just going over the very top edge of this, man don't want this to lose its shape I just want it to be blended enough you know you can tell like I, I attempted <laughs> but still there like not blended enough to where we completely lose the shadow which I don't think is going to be a problem because it's, it's pretty much everywhere okay we're gonna go to the next color. I have this little cleaner that's from Walmart that works really good. So I use it. I'm gonna take the shade, the same brush. This is a Morphe M507 brush. If you want a really small brush, this is the brush. They have other small brushes. But I have a couple of these. I love these. Not that it matters, because I'll do like a one whole look with the same brush, just like cleaning it off. But <clears throat> anyway, I'm gonna take the shade Bridal Party, which is this shade right here. Oh. And I'm going to just kind of put it right underneath. I'm gonna bring it up to the point. This is actually like way more pigmented than the red is. So, Bridal Party is, is a nice shade. I dig it. I like it. It's nice. Okay. I'm just kind of right underneath everything else okay now I'm going to take this brush which is like a little round domey type brush I'm going to take something to spray my brush with this is this I can't say the name but that is what it is. And I'm just gonna use this and I'm gonna take a little bit of that said yes. Which I don't know why a grown woman can't say no. But uh and, and I make the palette. I'm sure there's a reason. I guess like marriage. That's my assumption. Um so I'm just taking said yes. I'm 
seems a little wonky. We'll fix it. Don't worry. So we fixed. Bam. Fingers are the most amazing blending tool and people are always giving them black. They don't deserve it. They're amazing. Okay, so I'm just going to blend this color out. This is just the first layer of this color I'm going to put on. Then I'm going to do a more intense layer and then lightly blend it. brush got wet. <laughs> okay, wrong brush got wet, but that's okay, because <clears throat> it can hopefully dry by the time we, uh, if we need it again. And I'm going to clean up my lid a little bit. Clean it, help it, like, blend into the red that's already there. Okay, so now I'm going to take, I've dropped like seven things, eight things, nine things, 10, 20, 30, I lost count, so many things that has to be washed now, too many things have happened to it now for me to trust that it's not going to give me pink eyes, I'm going to create the infection because I'm walking on my floor. Okay. Now. Take a little bit of my eyeshadow primer and I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. And I haven't done this in a long time. Next thing I drop, I'm going to kind of erase. Gone. You really, I mean, theoretically, you could do this. How many times am I going to say theoretically in this video? You can do this as many times as you want if you're using something you can like wash off. You know, like paints are a little harder to do it with, but okay. I still have something on my lid. I'm going to take this nice fat brush, which sometimes I use for concealer, and take it into Stepmom. And I'm going to pack Stepmom everywhere. The next step is going to be reinforcing all those colors a little bit. I'm sorry, I'm covering everything up that I'm doing. <clears throat> I have tons of tiny little brushes because I cannot find any of them. Small brushes. Are you all in here? I'm just like bending here. Little brushes, and I just kind of. What? Oh my god! I'll just keep placing things in here. I'm a mess. This is terrible. I have nothing. Bam. Sorry. Found another one of the same brush. That I was telling you I had a couple of, not to brag or anything, you know. I'm just kidding. Um, but I do like the Morphe Itty Bitty brushes because they're affordable. They're nice. I mean, I have had like some of the hairs of the brushes come out or whatever, but you get what you pay for. You know what I mean? 
that's not always the case. Sometimes you're like getting a way better value than what you're paying. But in Morphe's case, I find that you're getting what you paid for. And some stuff is okay. This isn't a review on Morphe. I'm just saying. I'm not a huge fan of Morphe, but these brushes, they're good. They have good brushes. That was my point. Okay, I'm going to take the same brush, because again, I've lost all my other ones. And I'm just going to reinforce that red on both eyes. translucent powder. I'm going to take my translucent powder because I, I very rarely ever put like a brow highlight. Oh shit. Very rarely ever put like a brow highlight on anything because um, I don't like to do my eyebrows. I find that when I do it the way that I do it, my light just flickered. Works out better for me. I'm gonna go back over this. So it's just as red as it was before. But on the bright side, it's more blended out than it was, so that's a that's a bonus. We have bonuses here. Okay. to do some super rad red eyeliner and then I'll be back actually before I go I'm gonna take the shade bridal party on this brush which is not a blush brush but I'm using it for this purpose I had already put down um, I just dipped it in the wrong color. Get off the brush. Okay, go into bridal party. Um, I used Bardo, which I don't even think they sell anymore from ColourPop. This is the only powder that I'm gonna put on my face before I put on my other dark on this side because I have freckles on the other side. Freckles aren't symmetrical, unfortunately. Probably would look weird, I guess, if they were. Okay, so I'm going to do some liner. And I'll be back. Okay, guys, this is the finished look. added some gems because I felt like it needed something more but anyway on to the products themselves so my favorite products makeup products because I got two face products that I couldn't try my favorite makeup product that I used today out of here was the iconic London bronzer it has one of the gems on it it also has glue on it because that's where I set my eyelashes while they were drying um, yeah, really like this. Buttery smooth. Looks good. Um, works good with the fact some bronzers don't like that I don't wear foundation. This bronzer didn't seem to care, so that's nice. Um, this, the Grown Woman palette, it's okay. Is it worth $42? I don't think so. I mean, I wouldn't buy it for $42 because I have a million eyeshadow palettes that are basically just like this. And... It wasn't like revolutionarily amazing. I had to build that color, that Cobana Kisses color up a little bit. Still like it, turned out good. Probably will use it again because I have it, 
but you know, it's just not the greatest thing on the planet. Okay, the last thing I have is this Jekka Black Gold Touch Shimmer Finish. Probably won't ever use this again. It's not, it has too much pigment in it to be an eye gloss, not enough pigment in it to be an eyeshadow cream, and it's also a little too emollient. Like a lot of eyeshadow creams will kind of settle. This doesn't, so wouldn't go for this. To be fair, I've gotten other products by this brand and BoxyCharm, and I haven't liked them, but I've given them to my cousin who doesn't wear a lot of makeup and she likes them, so maybe this is just not a brand that is marketed for me, and that's fine. But um, I think next time I get one of her products, I'll probably just put it in a bin to give it away because I don't want to waste if I'm not going to use it because I, I don't know. I don't think I'll use it. Guess I'll give it to my niece for her to paint her face with. But um, I don't think that I'll ever use it again. But maybe I will. Who knows? I'll give it a second, second, third try. I usually do. I usually give everything a couple tries before I'm like <clears throat> completely. So yeah very uneventful. I like my eye look. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, yeah. Please subscribe if you want to follow my Instagram. It's the same name as my YouTube channel. Bye guys.